motherfuckers, Mr. Mad up in this bitch. Coming at you. Lie. No. No, wait. No. I am um, always prayer cotton. Damn it, motherfucker. Ran out of breath on that last one. Anyways, so I, I felt like I, I kind of left you guys uh, hanging with just the hacks sheet tutorial because I know you're too lazy to dig through my old videos because I got a lot of stupid videos about me eating fat shit. But, uh,. Now that you're on Hacks Chi, like, what can you do, <laughs> you know? But I'm going to show you in this video just a couple of things that you're capable of doing if you want to, like, rip a disc. I'm not going to show you how, but I'm going to show you how to install the shit that you need and a couple other things that might be uh, pretty handy. So give me one second, and we'll jump onto the computer. All right, now that you're back on your computer, you can go ahead and pop in that SD card. This should contain all your files from before. If you watch my previous video go ahead and set that to the side for now we're gonna want to google homebrew app store webrew.com that's the website you're gonna want to go to which is right here from here we could search for WUP. wup you're gonna want to download the WUP installer gx2 Let's click that go ahead and save that link next go ahead and google vg moose that's the GitHub you're gonna want. You're gonna wanna go to Homebrew App Store HBAS. Click on release. Save this file. Next, Cool K Dev. It's gonna be this GitHub right here. You're gonna want disk to app. It's the only release. Download that zip file. Next, if you've got DMOC open still from the last video, go ahead and go back there. Otherwise, Google DMOC 789 or just go to this GitHub. I'm going to provide all the links down here so you don't have to Google shit anyways. But just in case the links move or anything like that, you'll have a better idea of where to go. Go to uh, Homebrew Launcher. You don't want to go to Releases. And you will want to download this Homebrew Channel. Launcher Channel. Save that. Now we got all our files here. We're going to want to extract everything. So what did we just download? The WUP installer. Extract that. Homebrew launcher channel. Extract that. Disk to app. Extract that. I sound annoying, don't I? And app store 15, 1.5. Extract that. Now we got our removable disk SD card. Let's start uh, with the first things first here. Disk to app. Go ahead and consolidate that, merge that into your Wii U folder. Yes. App Store, same process. Dump that into Wii U apps. Homebrew Launcher Channel. Okay, so this, you can actually want to make a folder called Install. And go ahead and transfer that into here. This is the same way you install games, by the way. So if you happen to come up on some uh, WUP folders, there you go. That's how you install that. And last but not least, the WUP installer itself. And dump that in here. And hit yes. So now, once that's done transferring, we should have all our apps here. App Store, Disk to App, Hacks G, Homebrew Launcher, WUP Installer, GX2. So now this prevents you. Now you can go ahead and eject this. And I'm going to show you. Now this uh, keeps you from having to use the browser method even after the first time you launch if, if you want to go into the Homebrew channel. All right, so even though we have Hacks G installed, we really can't do shit right now except go back into the homebrew browser or run shit that we've already had installed. But we haven't installed anything yet. So I'm going to show you how to install the homebrew channel launcher. Go ahead and press X to open the curtains up. You want to go to loading.ovh, just like we did before. That way, any new homebrews you want to install, you can actually run it straight from the system without having to go online at all. So it's doing the exploit as usual. It's gonna jump into the homebrew launcher. You wanna go to WUP installer, hit load. And if you did everything correctly, you should see homebrew channel launcher. Go ahead and click that and install. Hit yes. Install it to, hmm, good question. I'd say NAND, because there is nothing connected to the USB right now. NAND is just a system memory. So no matter what, even if you don't have a USB drive connected, you can still install shit to it. Once that's done installing, you're good to go. From here, you're done. Hit the menu button. It's gonna bring you back to the main menu. 
hit that menu button or the home button and bring it back to the me thing close the software and now you have the homebrew launcher which now you don't need to run the exploit you can just actually jump straight into there with no internet whatsoever and you can install anything you feel like installing or run whatever programs you need to run so if you want to check out the homebrew app store go ahead and load and this can be done without any connection to the internet from this point on well unless you want to download shit from there but as far as actually getting into the homebrew launcher you don't need any more internet connection you don't need any of the browser exploits ever again as long as you you know anytime you reboot just launch the hex chi application and then you can launch homebrew launcher or play all your games with dlcs everything like that all right here's just a quick example of what you're able to do with the homebrew app store say download whatever the hell you feel like downloading there's games you can do all apps tools basically whatever you're looking for go ahead and download that if you want otherwise you can close out and it'll go back to the homebrew launcher where you could launch anything else like if you want to copy your uh, games you could open this program and I, I had a tutorial on this so I'm not gonna show you how to do that but copy your games your physical discs install them you can install them through WUP installer matter of fact you can also install a WUP installer channel if you'd like but it's not really necessary at this point when you're done with that like I said close software you're back to your custom firmware Wii U that just makes things a little bit easier I'm gonna reboot real quick and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about all right so I just rebooted the Wii U and I'm gonna show you that if you try to launch anything on the reboot without the hacks she hack uh, enabled without clicking this it's just gonna give you an error and make you restart the system again so go ahead and turn the system off and I'll show you how to use this and now I can show you that the hacks chi enabler app thing is gonna help you out here so again we just reboot it so you go to hacks chi it's gonna boot into the custom firmware the hacks chi custom firmware and give you the original splash screen again and then from here you can launch homebrew launcher without any internet connection or without using the browser exploit and here you are so that's the end of that tutorial thank you for watching and uh, peace out